So what what would like maybe surprise us about Jordan like that we wouldn't know? I mean, all, so many of us watched The Last Dance and that was where I got to really see how competitive he was. Um, but what what was what would surprise us? What was unique about him? I think my favorite first interaction with him really explained who he was. And I really loved this. And I love that everyone did get to see how competitive and like how a lot of people maybe were very nervous when he, you know, like you saw that, which I loved because I think we all felt like we, back then you didn't share that stuff. You know, you didn't want to, you didn't want to ruin it for anybody, especially as a Chicago girl. But the first time I really met Michael, um, it was baseball and there were a group of us in PR and a few of us in the media and we were all in a room and we were waiting for him to come in. We were all going out to dinner. So it was a small group, it was probably 10 people. And we were in there and there's a knock on the door and we know it's Michael. And so the PR guy says to me, because I'm closest, just go grab the door. And I'm, you know, 23 from Chicago and like, oh my gosh. And so I opened the door and I was, I'm sure I was so nervous. I'm sure my heart stopped. And he looked down and I was wearing Chuck Taylors and he said, what the f are you doing wearing Chuck Taylors? And it put me at ease instantly because all of a sudden, instead of me like, oh, Michael Jordan, it was like, because I can't afford the Air Jordans because I'm making $10,000 in Chattanooga. And, uh, and so he was really, he was had a gift with that of knowing how people were going to be with him and being able to make you laugh and kind of take the air out of the fandom real quick. And that was probably a great gift for me at a young age that if, if I learned that I had to kind of calm it down with Michael Jordan, there wasn't going to be anyone else that I would lose this. But I will say this with Michael. I used to play a game whenever I was at whatever arena and I would always be looking uh, away from the court, but I would always know when Michael walked in because it, it's hard to explain this and you know, you've helped us, I'm sure before you could feel a, a, an arena tilt mm. or stadium tilt when someone like that walks in because the whole, like the whole place just tilts yeah. to them. So you don't even have to be looking, you know, he's there, but you feel it. So I used to always love playing that game. When is Michael here? Because it was fun to see it in different arenas. And one day I was at practice at the United Center and, or I'm sorry, it was pregame. And I'm watching Michael warm up and all of a sudden I feel it tilt the other way. And I'm like, Ooh. What's happening? Like, he's right there. I've never felt it for anyone. And I turned and I looked and they were wheeling Muhammad Ali. In. Wow. And that was the, the only time I've ever felt the room tilt away from Michael Jordan. Wow. 